hello guys welcome back today we are going to see this uh, interesting uh, research paper uh, deep neural interfaces using synthetic gradients so as you all know uh, the neural networks are trained in the following way the input passes through the layers and then finally a noise is created and then the noise is back propagated to the previous layers to uh, adjust the weights right so in this paper what they are doing is um, this work gives us a way to allow neural network to communicate to learn to send messages between themselves in a decoupled scalable manner paving the way for multiple neural networks to communicate with each other or improving the long term dependency of recurrent te- neural networks this is achieved by doing a model to approximate error gradients so what they do is instead of doing a back back propagation they create a model which takes in the input and create generates a gradient which predicts the gradient of the noise with respect to the input activations so coming to this figure here for every layer we will be having a, a synthetic gradient model which will generate the synthetic gradient from the in, from the output of the layer so now what you can do is you can individually do a back propagate you can individually adjust the weights of the layer without waiting for the noise um, coming from the upward layers so but how do you actually um, estimate the correct gradient this is done using the actual final loss so the final loss is used to uh, adjust the gradient in in this model layer by using a mean squared error so that is being propagated uh, from every layer and uh, finally that value is calculated uh, so if you can see this is a diagram the noise coming from the upward layer is is considered the gradient and then that gradient is uh, uh, compared with the uh, uh, gradient generated by this model layer and uh, using a mean squared error loss and that layer is optimized so we'll let's take a look at how to implement this with transformers uh, so i have taken a data set from kaggle for it called the stories stories csv which will have this uh, project written work books so i'm taking the first five books and creating a text data set um, and then i have uh, this uh, imports of torch and then i have a get batch um, to to create the data set in the form of batches next we have our uh, head multi head attention uh, feed forward network uh, blocks these are all in the transformer layer uh, which are the general transformer construction like let me quickly go go through this the head module will have this key query value uh, and the mask and uh, we capture the attention here and then multiply it with the value to get the output multi head attention splits the <coughs> uh, one and consists of uh, multiple heads uh, so with each head size it splits that and it get, and it creates those many number of heads and finally we will concat the output and we return it as a multi head attention output and we have this feed forward which is the final layer um, which will take the input and then have a f- four times that input and a ralu layer and then an um, embedding to the number four star embedding to the embedding now i also have the synthetic gradient model which will um, take an input layer of uh, an embed and output the embed and i have a gel activation function so the forward method is itself dot net of x so now in this block the block will just a synthetic um, will not use any synthetic head here we will use this multi head attention feed forward network layer norms so straight forward residual connection with the uh, feed forward multi head attention and followed by a feed forward net so now in this transformer layer we have our token embedding we have our position embedding we have our blocks but we also want to have the synthetic gradient for each block so i am creating a synthetic gradient of each block for those many number of layers so let's look at the forward method and how it works in the initial phase the 
formal method we have this token embedding created and then we have a polygon embedding created and we add these two and from now on we have to pass the input through a series of blocks so what i am doing is i am passing through the series of block i am zipping it with blocks in the synthetic gradient block so that the input first activation will go through the block and if there is a sg flag that is a synthetic gradient flag i clone that input and i pass it through a the synthetic gradient model block to get the gradient and i am creating a tuple of the input the input gradient and the clone of the uh, input uh, for for uh, and i will return it in the end and then i am passing it through logits to the self plot lm and the language model head and the rest of the thing is targets is none loss is none otherwise we calculate the cross entropy loss and finally we return the loss logits loss and the sg tuples this is a generate function which will generate your uh, outputs so now we have a function which will estimate the loss uh, this is all taken from the andre karpati's series uh, so if you have any doubt you can go through that first and come back here and then we have our msc criterion so remember i told you um, that we will be having a, a model to calculate the gradients and then how do we optimize that cal gradient calculation model is using a mean squared error loss uh, these are some hyper parameters which i am setting up batch size 16 block size 32 uh, embedding size 32 then what i am doing is splitting the text into uh, words by using the space to using spaces impose that uh, you can see on the number of the tokens generated uh, we can have printed these uh, and then i'm splitting the text into data into uh, 90% uh, training data and 10% validation data and i'm creating a model of the transformer and the optimizer as adam w with learning rate and i am training it for 1000 iterations um, i'm getting the input from the get batch function i'm setting the zero grad optimizer zero grad and then I'm get calling the model uh, with the input and the output to lodge its lodge and the um, SG tuples. So first of all, we have to calculate the loss dot backward, which will calculate the uh, gradient of the last layer. And then after that, we will go in reverse of the layers of all the blocks, and we get this uh, input gradient and the clone. So what we do is we do a backward pass. Of that in of the active output of the block layer using the gradient which 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 was predicted by the model, uh, so we do the backward grad and then what we have to do is we also have to calculate the error um, error loss between the actual gradient and the predicted gradient and then optimize that back optimize that loss to actually optimize the model. Which, gen which generates the gradients and then we have our optimizer dot step so if you can see the loss is kind of decreasing um, and the input loss is also decreasing so i just created a now we can test this model and uh, we can call this like uh, they love that and then they love the dusk advantage um, and it was able to generate some text like i love bunch carrot um, so um, so this way what advantage of this synthetic gradient is you can uh, use multiple gpus and uh, train the network more scalable way uh, so this is advantage uh, and it comes with a little bit of performance loss but uh, you would get much faster results using this thank you